now that you're finally part of the 53 training camps over, yep. all the bubble, everybody else is gone. What's it like now? Man, it's uh, you know, it's truly a blessing, you know, the, just to be here and just to be included in the 53. You know, it's a dream come true for me uh, and my family. Um, so, you know, I'm just, you know, excited for the season, excited for week one, you know, the season and, and, and getting started. And what stuck out to you the most about making this transition uh, to the NFL over the course of training camp and preseason? Yeah, uh, you know, just go, going into it, you know, you. You tend to, as a rookie, tend to overthink, you know, what it'll be like. But at the end of the day, um, you know, it was it was just ball, you know. Uh, so, you know, everything was uh, was you know was was everything I, I thought it would be. Um, and and like I said, it was it's ball at the end of the day, you know. So um, that that's really the main thing that that stuck out to me. We've kind of talked about your versatility, but at this point, is, is there a role where you feel most comfortable, or where you feel best in terms of? You know where you might get thrown in week one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I, f I feel comfortable. You know, at, at each spot that you know, uh, uh, Coach Wink, you know, puts me at, uh, whether that's nickel, safety, uh, corner. Um, you know, I, I'm just trying to, you know, prove, you know, prove my versatility every day. You know, and and you know, and um, you know, and a lot of coaches to trust. You know, uh, that I, you know, I can get the job done at any place. Man, you probably thought about this before, but when you made a position switch. I heard it was more like you're wanting to switch rather than being told, okay, this is your best decision. Why did you feel like playing D would be best for you? Why you yeah, I just, uh, you know, I just had that feeling that, you know, this would be my best opportunity, you know, to get to the league, get to the NFL. Um, you know, I felt like that was where I could uh, contribute contribute to a team uh, the best. Um, and so that that's kind of what, you know, uh, uh, inspired, you know, my, my thought process to switch position. Is there anything about having played offense that you think helps you now playing big? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, you know, uh, back when I was at UCLA, you know, my running backs coach would have us uh, uh, learn the route concepts that, that the receivers would, uh, would run. So that, that's, that definitely, uh, you know, has helped me with the transition to defense. What's the biggest challenge in transitioning? I know you've transitioned to play, but, but going to safety, what's the, what's the biggest challenge in, play, in trying to learn and, and play that position? Yeah, uh, you know the biggest thing uh, for me and uh, is just uh, over communicating. Um, that that's something that you know I didn't really do in college. You know, just being uh, you know at corner, and so uh, you know I've. Um, but you know, I'm just trying to over communicate. You know, to the guys on the field. Uh, so that's 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 definitely one thing that I'm um, you know progressing with every every single day. You're part of one of the best defensive backfields in football. What have you learned from guys like Marlowe and Marcus? Chuck. Yeah. Chuck. Yeah, man. I, I try to stay try to stay in their ear, you know, all the time, you know, each and every day. Um, you know, they tell me something new uh, uh, every day, you know, that I, I would never think about, you know, and just being with a, a great group of guys, um, uh, DB room like we have, man, it's, it's only going to make uh, each and every one of each and every one of us better. So, you know, right. how confident um, are you are you that, that you'll be able to make a, a quick impact based on what you were able to do in the preseason and the training camp? Yeah, uh, man, I've always been confident, you know, in my skill set and, uh, you know, and what I bring to the table. You know, uh, you know, all I need is opportunity, you know, and, uh, you know, I, I'm sure I'll, I'll get that as, at some point during the season. So, you know, once I get it, I just got to, you know, uh, uh, get in and, and run with it. Brandon, um, you know, a lot of rookies talk about how everything's such a grind and there's so much and you don't really get a chance to settle down. In your case, have you had an opportunity to kind of take a breath and realize how unique what you've been able to accomplish is in terms of changing positions in two years, making it to the NFL at a different position? Yeah, man. Uh, shoot, every every day, I, you know, I come through the, uh, the the parking lot and, you know, go through the gates. You know, I, I always, you know, just think about the, my journey um, and, you know, how blessed I am to be here, you know, and, um, um, you know, it's, it's been a long road, you know, still got work to do, you know, the job's not finished. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm like I said before, I'm, I'm blessed to be here. You know, blessed to uh, go through the journey that I went through uh, just to get to this point. Brandon, I'm sure every player that's not taking number one overall thinks they should maybe have been taken a little higher, or you know, maybe gone to a place where you had a chance to start right away. But given that you know, when you look as you've gotten here and see what's here on the, the culture, the quality of the, of the guys you're with, does it feel like this really is a great spot because you can learn but still have a role and contribute? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, uh, you know, I feel like God put me here, 
uh, for a reason. You know, this is where I was supposed to be. Um, you know, being picked 104, uh, 104 overall, that's where I was supposed to be picked. Um, and so, you know, um, um, you know, I, f I feel like this is the best place for me. You know, it uh, fits my skill set. You know, and uh, you know, I'm just around a, a great group of guys. You know, uh, both offense and defense. You know, the guys just, um, you know, we just we just get along. You know, it's it's one big family. So, uh, so yeah, man.